These are the LS standard pumps. Each pump head is designed for one size of tubing, ensuring optimal occlusion and performance. Today, I will be demonstrating the proper way to load the LS standard pump. But first, let's review the two types of LS standard pumps. This pump head, for example, uses thin wall tubing. It has rollers that slightly extend past the rotor plate. Now this pump head uses thick wall tubing. It has rollers that are located just inside the rotor plate. Notice the thrush washers on each side of the rotor. Check for these before you load your tubing and make sure that both thrush washers are on the rotor. This is our tubing key. We will be using this during the process of loading the pump. Using the tubing key applies the proper stretch to the tube as well as centers the tube on the rollers and inside the pump. Thus, longer life too. Now let's load the pump head. First, you want to select a desired length of tubing that you're going to be placing into the pump. Insert tubing connectors and tubing clamps to hold the connectors in place. This is a silicone material. Notice how the tubing has a natural curve and you're going to load this natural curve with the rotor. We're going to remove one of the end bells. I'm going to rotate it with the ports of the tubing toward the palm of my hand. I'm going to take the tubing with the natural curve. I'm going to place it into the port. Rest it against the first two rollers. I'm going to take this tubing key and I'm going to insert it between the tube and the rotor plate, like so. Notice how the key presses the tubing into the housing. Now I'm going to start turning this key all the way to the other side while holding the tubing in place with my thumb. I'm going to use the key. It's going to press the tubing uniformly into the pump. I'm going to move my thumb over slightly. I'm going to remove the key. Now I'm going to replace the other side of the end bell, like so, and line it up. I'm going to squeeze the two halves together, all the while watching to make sure I don't pinch the tubing between the halves. Notice how the tubing is now in the center of the pump head. Now let's try loading the same pump with Tigon Lab. Tigon tubing is a bit stiffer material than the silicone. I'm going to show you a little trick of my own to help loading this type of material. We're going to repeat the same loading procedure as before. And if you find turning the key or closing the pump a little difficult, try using just a drop of water and run it across the edge of the tube. This will help the key slide across the tubing easier. Pump is so. Tubing in the port. Key between the rotor plate and the tubing, like so. So the indentation. Now we're, I'm going to take a little bit of water on my fingertips, see? And just a little bit. Now I'm going to turn this. Oh, see how easy that turns. Get to the other side. I'm going to remove the key. Now, make sure put this pump head 
half back on. But I'm going to add just, just a drop more water. Now this won't hurt the tubing or the pump head. It just gets that little bit of tackiness off the tube. Now I'm going to replace this back together. Align them. And I'm going to give it a little squeeze. Now sometimes when you're trying to put the pump together, it's just a little bit difficult. So take the key once again and I'm going to put it in the slot and I'm going to turn it one or two rotations. This will stretch the tubing a little bit and relax it. And then I'll be able to close the pump a little bit easier. Ah, there it goes. Now making sure you don't pinch the tube and seeing that it is centered. If it's not quite all the way centered, don't worry because once you mount it on the drive and you run it, it will automatically center inside the pump because you've used the key and you've stretched the tube properly. One more little trick I'd like to share with you. An easy way to open the pump when you're ready to change the tubing. Using the tubing key, again, insert it into the slot, turn it a couple times, and what this will do is push the pump head slightly apart so it'll be easier to take the tubing out, as you can see. That dem that concludes our demonstration. And thank you for using Masterflex standard pump heads.